Hey guys, so you have never seen me film in this location, but this is my bedroom. Um, ignore the sword, that's just for decoration, and that's obviously a BB gun, and this is crooked. Okay, that's better. But, um, this is going to be my first video that I've made like this, and first time filming in here, um, but I want to give you guys some tips. And um, this will just be the tips and tools for teens. And um, this is just stuff that works for me. And this is going to be more for girls because I'm a girl. So, yeah. But um, let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be like the beauty section. I have a lot of my friends say, How do you get your face so clean? And. Like, I don't have a lot of pimples and blackheads a lot, so, um, that's what I'm talking about. Um, I have a few places, um, I have a bump here and a bump on each side of my nose, but those are because they're actual blackheads and there is a difference between a blackhead and a pimple. Um, to me, a blackhead is dirt inside of my pore and it just doesn't come out and I don't, I do my best to get it off, but... And I, and I am a pimple popper, but I go the clean way and keep my face clean and just, but I'm going to show you guys how I do that. And the first is oil absorbing sheets. These are from CVS. I think they're like $2. And um, they're exactly what it, they say they are. Um, they work really well. And they're a big... These are like my best friend after gym. Okay, so watch this. I've, I haven't left the house but like twice today because school was canceled. And so this is how much oil comes off of my face on like a normal just lazy day. Okay, look at this. That's pretty bad. Okay, that's a lot. And these keep the oil off of your face, and they're really helpful. Um, so, um, oil absorbing sheets, and they look like plastic, and they kind of are, but they keep your face really clean. Um, the next is Deep Clean Sports Facial Cleanser, and I just wash my face with this every morning when I get up and every night before I go to bed, and it doesn't have a scent, I don't think. It just smells clean, um, and I really like that, and it's Neutrogena, and um, it says eliminates 99% of sweat, dirt, and oil for instantly cool, clear, refreshed skin, and it really, that's, that's the truth, and this is for 60 washes, I keep this on hand, um, and I keep it in my gym bag too, so. And it's leak proof, so you can just like toss it around, so. And it's, it's for sports, so. <laughs> Even if you're not sporty, you can still use that. I'm not very sporty and I still use that, so. But that's mainly what I do, is I just wash my face a lot. And if you don't normally wash your face and you start, it's gonna, your face is gonna break out a little bit. But that's just because it's bringing all of the dirt to the top and it'll go away but um so that is mainly about it that's all that I do really from my face so but my you can tell that my face is pretty clear I have a lot, like I have a lot of beauty marks they're called beauty marks but they're just molds but they're like they're they're not like bam but um next is for my hair and in the video, it might look greasy, but it's not. It's from the Suave Professional Sleek anti frizz Cream. Suave Sleek anti frizz Cream. And I think this was like $4. I don't know, but it really helps in the morning. I straighten my hair before I go to bed at night when I get my shower. And then um, I straighten it, and I blow dry it, and I straighten it, and then I go to bed. So, um, when I wake up in the morning, it tends to be really, really frizzy, and this is a miracle worker, and it says exactly what it does. 
which moves far away and frizz and adds a lightweight shine. So it does. It it doesn't have a greasy shine to it. It has a clean shine. Like you can see the difference between clean and greasy. And I don't know how it looks to you guys in this video, but it's it looks really good today. That's not. I should have done this earlier, but so that's better. So next is after I'm in gym and I sweat after running and doing all that exercise, my hair gets does tend to get greasy. But there is another miracle worker that I'm going to share with you guys, and it is invisible dry shampoo. This is from Salon Graphics. I think this is like three dollars. I could be way off, but it's invisible, so watch, okay? You can't even see that. So you let it dry and you brush through your hair. I don't have a brush in me. I'm going to use this, okay? You guys aren't going to use this, but. So you just spray it in your hair and then brush through your hair. Um, okay, I'm just going to show you this. Okay, this is a rubber band loom. So look at this. Okay, this perfectly does this. And it feels like you're getting a head massage, and that's really nice. Okay, so don't judge me on my weirdness. And I do clean that though, so. See how nice my hair looks now? And it dries really fast, and it, there's some that I use, and it looks like powder, and it just, I hate it, and it's not, it's not good. But, um, it's just invisible dry spray shampoo, and you spray it on and brush out, and, um, I had one that I had used, and it did a terrible job on the bottom of my hair, and like, it made it look bleached really bad. And it took some of the color out, and I didn't like that. But this is really, it's safe for, um, dyed hair, so that's really good. Next, I'm moving on from cleanly head things. Showers are very important. You should take them daily. That's, that's the number one tip of the millennium. Showers are your best friend. You and, and the shower should be like this. Um... If I can find my lotion, I'll show you guys, here it is right here, right, with, right behind my camera, because the camera Lotion is also key. I have this entire set. I have the body spray, the body wash, and the body lotion. And it's warm vanilla sugar from Bath and Body Works. This bottle of lotion was twelve fifty. I think it was on sale. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to get mine body spray and it's not in my purse that's weird. But I do have the body spray and the body wash. There somewhere. I'll find it later. Um but Bath and Body Works has a lot of these sets that you can get that match. And I love that. And it smells like heaven. I feel like it's on right now. Lotion is a good companion too. Um if I have dry legs a lot so that's amazing. Um, so, showers again, um, lotion, body spray, if you get out of gym, also deodorant, um, in my backpack. I have some by my bed over there, and then some in my backpack, and then some in my gym locker, and then some in my regular locker. So I have deodorant on hand 24-7 everywhere I go. I'm going to have a little mini in my purse, too, so I never go undeodorized, so deodorant should be one of your best friends. Next is organization. Um, you can tell that I I use my walls, okay? So you saw my sword. I, you can cut things with that, but I don't recommend it. But that's a good place to do that is just hang it up on the wall. Um, 
I keep my hat up here, but I was wearing it, so I keep my hat hung up. And um, hanging things <laughs> is a great way to stay organized. Um, when I draw things, I put them on the wall. Posters are good to um, decoration is key. Sometimes you don't want to have people over, especially if it's like someone you want to impress. Um, I like to walk into a room and see things on people's walls. And see things on people's walls because it gives them, it shows me a little bit of who they are. Um, my soon to be sister in law, I talk about her a lot. So when I say Danielle, you guys just think of my soon to be sister in law. So my sister in law, Danielle, has Rastafarian stuff on her wall. Um, I started making the Rastafarian crayon melt and um, I didn't get to finish that and I'm very sorry and that's on her wall um, I made her a poster with her name on it and um, put Rasta behind it and it was it's on her wall um, Bob Marley you like she loves Bob Marley like I love the Beatles so um, Bob Marley is on her wall actually Speaking of things hanging, this is hanging on my light fixture, and it is the Beatles, and I need to hang that somewhere else. But this shows who I am, and I can hang that. That is really a lot better lighting, isn't it? Like this, it's good lighting. So we're going to do that. So this shows that I like the Beatles. That's a good thing to hang up. So put that right here. I took that down and it wants to catch a fire. Um, I have my beauty gun on my wall that shows that um, maybe I like shooting BBs, okay? Like I could never shoot a real gun because it would probably blow me away. Um, the cheerleading pom pom, I don't like cheerleading but I like orange. So that shows who I am. Um, my hat right here, you guys have seen that. It was in one of my last videos. It has animal on it. He's my favorite and Muppets character, so that shows that I like animal. Um, these little plaques have stuff from last year, my eighth grade year. Shows that I, I like being intelligent. And um, like I said, just hanging things up is a great way to keep yourself organized and show personality. And cleanliness is next to godliness. And I'm not just talking about in the shower. I mean your room, your locker, your backpack. Organization is amazing. I love organization. I love being organized. Sometimes my room looks like a hurricane hurricane hit hit it, which is ironic because my school mascot is a hurricane, so right? Pretty cool. So, um Earlier I went through and I organized my dresser and I have room to set the camera on the dresser now so shows how amazing this idea of organization is so um, also if I hung this up on the wall the VH it says theater on it right here then you're gonna know that I like theater this is how amazing hanging things is just the simplest things make life so amazing and simple Tinkerbell you might see her right here I don't like Tinkerbell that's my mom's but you see that when you walk in the door of this house so and you can see kind of ironically I have the gun pointing at Tinkerbell so that's how much I get annoyed by Tinkerbell there's a lot of Tinkerbell. A lot. But subsequently, I think I said that word right, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm having, <sighs> having trouble breathing, okay, so, I've lost my train of thought, but, um, my pictures look weird, but there's a couple falling down, so don't judge me, but you can see this wall right here, has a lot of stuff on it, so, I'm going to push these back up while you guys are looking. And this is really creepy, especially in the back black light, but it was, 
That's a local theater. Mm -hmm. So, so that's just a great example of expressing yourself and showing what you are into, and it's just great. Um, this part is definitely, absolutely for girls only. Makeup. Um, I consider myself beautiful, so I hardly, unless it's like a really special occasion, or if it's like the day before we leave for break, I wear makeup then, and only then. I never wear makeup consecutively many days in a row. If you want to look nice for an event or something, um, then wear makeup, you know, that's cool. But you don't need to wear makeup to school every day. Um, if you have a boyfriend, I'm pretty sure that they will agree with me. I've had a lot of guys tell me this. Um, you're beautiful without makeup. Natural beauty is amazing and I love it. So I don't wear makeup every day. Um, sometimes, like every two or three Fridays, I'll wear makeup. It's like the last day of the week. Or if I wake up early and I have a lot of extra time, I might put makeup on. But it's not a daily necessity. If like there's people that have, uh, that wear makeup every day and they're good at like concealing it like wow that's makeup oh my gosh so and then I see them without makeup and I'm like who's this who, who are you I don't know you get away from me but no not really um Actually, yeah, really, there's people that wear makeup so often, I see them as a tan three centimeter eyelashes, and, excuse me, why are they on my music Excuse me, excuse me. There it is. Okay, so, just makeup a little goes a long way, so, yeah. Um... <clears throat> don't stress over what uh, other people think I almost said other plebble yeah it just went wrong but um don't stress that much I personally I don't care if you think I'm fat or ugly or a redhead without a soul that's cool that's your opinion I know me more, better than anyone and um, I know that I'm beautiful and I don't need your opinion to make me feel good about myself and um, that's just it that's all that I'm going to say about that point so the next point is what's coming out of this phone that just went really well with my last point, I can't change even if I tried it. So if I wanted to, I can't change. So I don't care what your opinion is. But anyway, the next point is music should be closer to you than anyone in this world. Um, music changes me more than my family. When my mother, my brother, my sister, my cousin, Jesus. Okay, music has changed me more than Jesus, and that says a lot. And I hate to say that, I love you, I love you, Lord, okay? But, um, Christian music is amazing. Forsaken here, if you don't know who they are, look them up, up here. Right there, yeah, in this box right here. Right up there. Look them up, because they're really good. And they're a Christian band, but, I don't know how to explain it. Excuse me, um, I think it's right in the night. Um, this song, it, this is Same Love by Macklemore. Um, even if you don't agree with this song, if you took the lyrics out, it would make you feel passionate about something. Um, here, let me open up my playlist. One second. So this one, it could get you going to a beat, but that's not the one I was looking for. This is going to get you in a good mood and get you upbeat, you know, and then just like, you 
So that puts you in a good mood and it gets you beat up. This one makes me sometimes makes me want to puke, but other times it puts me good. But music um, is going to be a big part of you and who you are. So, um, if you break up with your boyfriend, play Blurred Lines, and hopefully it'll put you in a bad mood. Or we found love and hope this place. Or I came for the applause. I live for the applause, applause, applause. Are you just making fun of music? Can put me in a good mood. And I'm sorry if I'm making you sick for myself, this, but this, this puts me in a good mood. Rocking hands. But, um, it has been 21 minutes, and this is not a long video, so. But I will talk to you guys later. If you, um, like these suggestions, give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, click the subscribe button down below. And, um, please, please, please. Please, please, please give me some feedback because I really, really need some feedback because I never hear from anyone. So, but thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Love you.